But first at five, a fire weather warning is in effect right now due to the dry and windy conditions. There have been at least six brush fires in our area today alone in North Situate, Coventry, West Greenwich, Attleboro, Cranston, and Narragansett. The strong winds are fanning the flames, making things harder for firefighters. Sheena Loshudo checked out a couple of the fires and joins us now live in Coventry. And Sheena, you talked to a fire chief who you just spoke with yesterday about the very same issue. They know that these conditions are really, really dangerous. We went to three different fires today, and those were just the ones we were able to get to. As the fire chief here in Coventry says, these type of conditions are just a recipe for disaster. 12 news cameras started the day in West Greenwich. This is Division Road. Firefighters out in full force as a steady flow of wind only fueled the brush fires they were fighting. I left my house at 8 o'clock this morning and the wind was blowing pretty hard and the humidity is down. Uh, it was definitely a recipe for disaster today and it seems like that's what's going on in uh, Kent County. Fire officials know the combination of dry and windy conditions make already difficult fires worse. We were there as these same crews were called to a second fire on Congdon Mill Road in West Greenwich. Then a third fire broke out in Coventry. This is viewer video from Tioga Avenue. It's a uh, heavy brush uh, surrounded by swamps and streams and it keeps jumping over them. Uh, as of right now, we got the fire under control, but we're going to be here for quite a while mopping it up. Chief Brown says one structure was impacted by the Coventry brush fire, but crews were able to take care of that quick, adding to an already long day for firefighters. The elevated temperature plus the low humidity just makes these fires want to run. Um, firefighters are working hard today uh, and, and we're concerned with them. We're going to try to keep them hydrated and rotate them out. Uh, right now, I mean, they're our most valuable asset. And we got to take care of them. And to give you a better idea of where we are right now, the fire in Coventry was right off of Route 3 behind the McDonald's in that wooded area. And the chief says there's no word on what caused it right now, but it looks like it started by the road and then moved deep back into the woods. And you can probably see it right now. My hair going everywhere. It is very, very windy. And Tony, firefighters are wondering, is there any relief coming our way right now? Well, partially, Sheena, I would say in the wind department, you know, we're going to keep things very warm and very dry through at least Friday. In fact, we're talking about record breaking or near record breaking temperatures Thursday and Friday. And while tomorrow will be windy, it may not be as windy as today, but you heard Chief Brown talk about that recipe. It's both wind and very dry air. Now, the wind gusts themselves are not extreme, but when it comes to brush fires, these numbers are, are high and really not helping the situation. Obviously, we're gusting uh, out of the northwest 20, 25, 30, even 35 miles per hour at times. And these northwest winds, it's a dry wind direction, so it just reinforces the dry air and the very low humidity. Two factors determine whether or not you have a fire weather warning or what we call a red flag warning, the wind and the humidity levels, which are quite dry. So the brush is dry as well. So the, uh, the, the red flag warning or the fire weather warning is for the entire area shaded in red until 7 o'clock. But believe me, at 7 o'clock, 7.05, it's not like, boom, everything's fine. I would not do any burning after 7 o'clock this evening. In fact, it remains to be seen whether or not the, the weather service may extend this warning into tomorrow. It'll be all based on just how gusty the wind will be. This is file video from out west. This this is not occurring right now, but to give you an idea of what the wind can do to some of these uh, fires, these brush fires, and as far as the acceleration, but a lot of uh, typical things that we've been saying all along as far as outdoor burning, barbecues, fire pits, burning of yard refuse, you really can't do that, not just through this evening, but I would say for the next several days, so we don't see much in the way of rain. Look at these temperatures, very warm in the 70s, well above average, a mild, dry, breezy, and comfortable night tonight with temps in the 60s. We'll talk more about that potential summertime time heat that's coming up for both Thursday and Friday. A lot to cover, all the details in about 10 minutes.